Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As well as being able to use the preset styles available in Word, you can also create new styles as needed. You can create a new style based off formatting that you have already applied to text by first selecting the text. Then click the Home tab in the ribbon and click the More button to display the full styles list. Choose the Create a Style command to launch the Create New Style from Formatting dialog box. Enter a name for the style into the Name text field. A preview of the style will be displayed in the preview area. You can click the OK button to save your new style. A style you create will then be listed in the Styles list on the Home tab. Note that clicking the Modify button that appears in the Create a Style dialog box will open the full Create New Style from Formatting dialog box, the use of which is covered in the next section in this lesson. Note that you can create a completely new style by also choosing the Styles Task Pane Launcher button in the Styles button group of the Home tab in the ribbon. This will then open the Styles pane. At the bottom of the Styles pane you can click the New Style button to launch the full Create New Style from Formatting dialog box. In this case you would start by entering a name for your style into the labeled field. Next you can select the Style Type from the label dropdown. Your choices are Paragraph, Character, Linked, Paragraph and Character, Table, and List. The choice made in the Style Type dropdown will determine the choices for the rest of the dialog box. This example will cover using the Paragraph choice. You can choose a style to base your new style on in the Style Based On dropdown. You can choose the Style for Following Paragraph from the Label dropdown. In the Formatting section, you can then choose the Font, Font Color, Font Size, and any other available options to create your new custom style. A preview of the style will be shown in the large preview area. A description of the style that you have created will be displayed below the preview area. This is what will display in the screen tip when you hover over the style within the Styles pane. Make sure that the Add to the Styles Gallery checkbox is checked to list your style in the Styles button group of the Home tab. You can check the Automatically Update checkbox to have your style updated if you make any future changes. You can choose what documents to apply your style to by using the Only in this document or New Documents based on this template option button. You can open the full formatting dialog boxes for a specific section by clicking the Format drop-down. In this menu you can choose from Font, Paragraph, Tabs, Border, Language, Frame, Numbering, Shortcut Keys, or Text Effects. Make any changes in your chosen dialog box and click OK to return to the Create New Style from Formatting dialog box. You can then click the OK button to create your new style. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.